Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been trying to record this and I've been wanting to record this, so let's see how it goes. I wanted to share with you um, five items that I think you can use and will be really helpful in self-study to prepare for the CISSP. The first app is Pocket Prep CISSP, and this is a free app, but for $29.95 you can get the additional features. And what I really like about this app, and this is not a sponsored video, what I really like about this app is that it will give you a question of the day. I've already answered today's question, um, but it will give you a question of the day and send you a notification that your question is ready for you. You can also build exams. I haven't tried that yet. Um, so I have not uh, built any of that, but on the dashboard you can see uh, you got practice, exam readiness, help and message, and sent setting. So you would go into the practice and you have your exam builder or question of the day. And I've already answered the question of the day. You can take a practice exam. And it gives you 10 questions in this and actually a time which is extremely important since this is a timed exam. Let's try one. Of the following, which government data classification is applied to information the unauthorized disclosure of which reasonably could be expected to cause exceptionally grave damage to national security? Uh, so let's see. I'm going to say top secret. And you see you get a little green check mark if you got it right and you can also show explanation and flag question is really good too especially if you got it wrong so I really like this app again it's called pocket prep for CISSP and another one that I wanted to show you oops let's get out of that is the actual um, CISSP, I'm sure we've all seen this book. Um, so you, there's another app you can go out there and find. It's just the CISSP um, IC, IC squared um, app. Let me see if I can show you the picture. So that is how it will look. For um, That is the Cybex book. And I think this one is definitely more affordable. It's like $9.95. It doesn't have like a question of the day feature, but what I like to do is go in and you can just kind of give yourself a 20 question uh, quiz every morning just to get you thinking about studying. And here's the format for that. A central author authority determines which file a user can access based on the organization's hierarchy? Which of the following best describes this? Hmm. File a user can access based on the organization's hierarchy. Um, I kind of want to say role-based, but I'm probably wrong. And for this, you've got to just go through the complete test to get your results. So those are two items. Um, try and download those apps. Again, the CISSP, and you'll, you'll notice the Cybex book is on the, the little icon for that. And that's like $9.95, and then um, Pocket Prep. Let's see. The Pocket Prep one looks like that for CISSP. And for $29.95, you can get the Question of the Day feature, which is really nice in the exam building. So then let's move on to actual paperback books. I don't know if you've heard of this one, the 11th Hour CISSP. I picked up the third edition study guide. Um, this one I've heard is really great. Like if you've done a boot camp, if you've been studying, then last thing is to kind of just go through this book um, as kind of just your last um, uh, preparation. And it's a really easy read. Um, I like how things are just set up and you're not dealing with 500 pages. It's just almost like a Cliff Notes or a condensed, um, a condensed version of a larger you know, study guide. So this is really nice. 
Um, I haven't read it completely through yet. So my experience with the CISSP, I took it in the fall of 2017. I got a 630 on it. You need a 700 to pass. I don't have a background in IT. I have my master's in cyber. Um, I worked in finance and just transitioned careers. So I didn't think I did too bad. I had I did take a week-long boot camp before um, attempting the exam, and it was under the old format. So um, I'm definitely going to use this to study with, to, pre to prepare to retake it. Um, I do want to get it by summer of 2019. And this does have questions after each chapter, and I believe the chapters are all broken out by domain. So there's eight domains that are on the exam, and I think there is uh, one chapter per domain in this book. So this is really easy to read, and again, what I've heard is kind of use this as your last, um, your, your last item for studying after you have prepared with your other textbooks and maybe a boot camp or whatever other self-study are you doing. So this is kind of like your, basically when it means the 11th hour, it means the 11th hour. This is your cramming last minute just to refresh um, all the concepts, rules, whatever you need to know, definitions. So check that one out. This is a real affordable uh, book too. It's not that expensive. Um, then we have the official study guide. This is the Cybex. So this should go with the app, the one app that I was showing you. And this is the seventh edition. There's so many different um, CISSP study guides. I like this paperback one. Um, I do have access to the um, all too familiar gold colored one. And I have taken a class before with the hardback, the green cover. I don't have those authors' names with me. But this is the one that I'm currently studying out of. Um, and this is pretty much the same um, thing. It's not chapter for each domain. I think it's broken out a little differently. Let's see. Yeah, because this has 21 chapters. So it's broken out by topic and not, not um, domain. As you can see there. Okay, and then lastly is Sunflower Notes. So this was shared with me from a coworker, and you can download this online. Um, just check for a, um, a safe site. Um, but if you go out there and Google Sunflower um, PDF for CISSP, this is version 2 summary. This was really great. It has a lot of information. I just printed out a simple black and white copy and put it in my binder. And this goes by domains. And so this is, this is free. Just, um, just Google the Sunflower Notes, the Sunflower PDF for CISSP. And this is just filled with so much information. So remember, this exam is, how they say, a mile wide and an inch deep. And so you kind of have to think about that. You have to get in the mindset of being um, a manager and not a practitioner. Um, because you don't want to go in there trying to fix the problem, because then you're going to choose the wrong answer. You don't want to um, kind of overthink it. Um, I printed out uh, some ideas here. Thinking like a manager, your goal is um, human life and safety are your number one priorities. Um, follow the code of ethics. You're worried about business con 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 continuity. Con <laughs> Lessen the risk to an acceptable level. Um, maximize corporate profits. Cost benefit analysis for all controls. Um, Fix the process, not the problem. So that's huge. Um, fix the process, not the problem. 
You don't want to think like a practitioner. You want to think like a manager. Provide suggestions, not decisions. Um, senior management is ultimately responsible. Um, security objectives should interplay with business objectives. So just, just a few thoughts. You can also check out Cybrary. There's um, a 13-hour free online course with Cybrary. Um, and she will state the same thing. It's a mile wide and an inch deep. So you can't go in there trying to fix the problem or think like a practitioner. So check out the Sunflower Notes. There is so much information in here. It splits it out over all the domains. And let me know. Let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you have used any of these tools. Uh, let me know if you've taken the CISSP and been successful. I'm going to take it again in the summer of 2019. So I'm definitely going to study, study, study. And remember, you need five years of IT experience to qualify for the certification. Um, otherwise, you just receive an associate, a CISSP associate. Um, but they do take a degree, a four-year degree as... Um, equivalent of one year. So keep those things in mind. Study, study, study. And also check out the new format as it did change to a CAT exam. Thanks for watching.